Welcome back to another video guys. My name is Chief Pat and today I'm going to be recapping the update in whole before it hopefully comes out tomorrow and is available on everyone's devices. Now this is definitely the longest set of sneak peeks we've ever had in Clash history. The longest before this I remember it being maybe five or six days but this time we had two weeks of sneak peeks. So in order to recap that I decided to break it apart into three pieces. So first of all I'm going to be talking about the big game changes that are going to be affecting all of the players which includes the shield system, trophy pushing, personal break the village guard I'll be talking about that second I'll move to changes that aren't only for town hall 11 such as the free spell for town hall 9 and then third I'll be talking about town hall 11 content only so it'll be a little bit easier if I split it apart into three pieces so first of all, let's talk about those big game changes. This is what they started the sneak peeks with over the first three days. And the big one that we saw in the beginning is the revamp shield system. So the town hall is no longer going to give a shield if it's destroyed in battle. So you can't put your town hall outside of your base and expect to get that free at 12 hour shield that we've all been so used to over the last three years in the game. So make sure you move your town hall on the inside because it isn't going to affect your shield as well as your town hall is going to hold a little bit of resources, which I'll talk about a little bit later. So a lot of you guys are probably wondering how you're going to get a shield now. The shield's going to be broken apart to whether your base uh, has been destroyed for a certain amount of percentage points. So if your base has been hit for 30%, that means you're going to get a 12-hour shield. If it's been hit for 60% damage, that's going to be a 14-hour shield. And if it's been hit by for 90% damage, that's going to go ahead and give you a 16-hour shield. Now, when you're under shield, you're now going to have the ability to attack when you're shielded. And every time you attack, it's going to take a little bit of chunks away from your shield as far as the time goes. So if you have a 12 hour shield and you decide to attack once, by the way, you can search for bases as long as you want. It's not going to break your shield. If you attack once, it'll take away three hours from your shield. If you attack twice, it's going to take away another four hours from your shield and then five hours for the third attack and so on and so forth. So with these changes, they decided to introduce a new feature called the Village Guard. Now, the Village Guard, the best way I can equate it to something easily understandable would be it acts as if you're online, even if you close the game out. You can imagine that your little, little brother is tapping on your device or something like that. I think that's what they posted on the forum. So the Village Guard will pretend that you're online, even if you aren't. And this is going to be activated when your shield expires. It's going to be from 15 minutes to three hours long, depending on your league. So if you're in low league, like gold or something like that, it's going to give you a 15 minute Village Guard. Uh, but if you're all the way up in, let's say, Legend or Titan 1, it's going to give you a three hour village guard to attack through, which is actually pretty nice. There's more about the village guard in these changes that, of course, I can't fit into a small recap video. So I will link all of the stuff in the description below if you guys want a more detailed account. And also with the village guard changes, they announced that the personal break is going to be moved to three hours. So the final section under big game changes would be about league bonuses and trophy offers. And first of all, with league bonuses, they will be increased, but it's now going to be based on how much percentage damage you do. So if you only do 20% damage and let's say you destroy the town hall, you're not going to get that full league bonus. And they're trying to incentivize you to do more damage in your attacks. If you do 70% damage against someone's base and you get the victory, that's going to give you the full 100% league bonus. And it's again, it's going to be a slight increase to how it was previously. So you should be seeing more loot uh, for those heavy damage attacks. Also, they're going to be moving a significant amount of loot to the town hall, which means you should definitely keep that town hall inside of your base, especially because it doesn't give a shield anymore. And finally, with trophy offers, one of my favorite changes is now that you're going to be seeing more balanced trophy offers. And if you're way up there, let's say you're in Titan or something like that, you should be seeing a minimum of somewhere around five or six trophies rather than those one trophy offers that everyone absolutely hates. So that's it for the big game changes. Obviously, that took up a big part of the update and why they had to explain it in all those big forum posts. Let's go ahead and move to some changes for non-Town Hall 11 players, starting off with a map expansion. So previously, the map was 40 by 40, but now the map's going to be 44 by 44 for all the players. So you will see an expansion to the map. If your obstacles are on the outside, they will be on the outside of this new map. Also, you're going to be seeing spell donations at Town Hall 8 for the level 4 clan castle. It will be limited to one spell spell in the very beginning, which means you're only going to be able to donate dark spells, but that means you could bring something like 12 earthquake spells if you're Town Hall 10 for a massive earthquake attack. If you're Town Hall 9, you could bring four lightning spells and two earthquake spells and destroy two air defense. So a lot of variations with spell donations. And also for Town Hall 9s, you will be getting a free spell, which is only going to be level one. Now, with the changes to the personal break, they did want to make changes to boosting. Since the personal break is now three hours and boosting currently is two hours within the game, they changed it to where boosting is now going to be five gems for one hour. So you're going to be a lot more flexible when you boost your troops, your spells, your heroes, or whatever you want to boost inside of the game. 
Also, they added new achievements for destroying the new Town Hall 11 defense, as well as donating spells similar to the friend in need that's already in the game. If you donate spells to your clanmates, you will be able to get that achievement for some free gems. The final change for non-Town Hall 11s is that healers are now going to be less effective as you put more healers on the same target. So if you put 13 healers on your Barbarian King, it's not going to work as well as it previously did. As far as things go, like Super Queen, Queen Walk, or whatever, uh, apparently it's only a slight nerf for around four, five, or six healers, but we'll have to test it out ourselves and see how that works inside of the game after the update comes out. So finally, this update was all about Town Hall 11, and they introduced a lot of stuff for the new Town Hall level, including some new building levels. So we're going to be seeing the Wizard Tower upgradable up to level 9, the Laboratory is going to be upgradable up to level 9, as well as the Storages are going to be upgradable up to level 12 as far as level or Gold and Elixir goes, and it looks like the Dark Elixir Storage will stay at level 6 for now. So for new buildings at Town Hall 11, we're going to get a pair of the classic defenses, which is going to be the Cannon and the Archer Tower, as well as we're going to be seeing a new Wizard Tower for the fifth Wizard Tower inside of our base, and finally a fourth Expo, so you can make a square of Expos with your village design. Also, there were two new troop levels announced, the Minion Level 7, which should be pretty interesting, and the Witch Level 3, which personally I am stoked about because I want to try out some mass witch attacks. Getting up to 10 skeletons per witch should be pretty nasty, and that should be pretty interesting for those Town Hall 11 players. Finally, two big new things they announced for Town Hall 11. First of all, the Grand Warden, which looks awesome. I have some gameplay videos, which I will link below for you guys to check out. Uh, he is going to be a beast on offense, where he gives your troops around him an HP aura, which buffs up their uh, HP, obviously, and makes them a little bit more tanky, as well as his ability on offense, the Eternal Tome, makes them invulnerable for a couple of seconds, which is going to be crazy and super strong in certain army compositions, whether you're using Hog Riders, trying to avoid those double giant bombs there's a lot of really good stuff for him on offense and for defense he actually turns into a statue and does a decent amount of damage as well as buffs your troops on defense such as your hero your clan castle all of that other stuff so the grand warden is going to be an absolute monster and i can't wait to try him out at town hall 11. the final big thing that we got at town hall 11 was the eagle artillery which is the brand new defense that will be available it's only going to have two levels um, but the Eagle Artillery, pretty much after you drop a certain amount of troops, it's going to be charged up and it's going to start raining down an insane amount of damage and it's really effective against troops that are clumped up. So if you have like 15 balloons clumped up together, the Grand, uh, or sorry, the Eagle Artillery is going to be smart enough to target those balloons, start raining down some damage and take those things out and it should serve to be a pretty awesome defense at Town Hall 11 and we'll have to see how the Grand Warden and the Eagle Artillery collide. So that's it for the recap. Again, I tried to make it as short as possible uh, with all of this crazy amount of information. It still ended up being around eight minutes. I hope you guys are excited for this update. As far as my channel goes, I'll be posting all of the new content the day the update comes out. I will be speeding up and checking out all the stuff at Town Hall 11 and going on a trophy push. So if you guys want to see all the new stuff in action, if you're a lower level Town Hall or you just want to check out all the cool stuff, make sure you subscribe to my channel. I'm going to be posting a crazy amount of videos about all of the new content, which is going to be pretty sweet i'm really excited to test it out for myself and uh yeah it's gonna be pretty cool to check out and that will pretty much do it for the update hope you guys enjoyed this recap and it helped you out if it did make sure you subscribe to my channel again uh for the reasons i talked about a little bit earlier and yeah that's gonna do it for this video until the update hopefully comes out tomorrow i will see you guys later peace out